Hey everybody, it's Kimberly here. Well, I just pieced together a little video throughout the day of what I did, waiting for a call from work to see if we go back to work or not, if the gas leak is fixed. So, here's what I did all day. Well, I'm still not back at work. Still the gas leak is going on or whatever they're doing, fix it. And um, just this morning, it was super uh, sunny and it was hot and bright and then about less than an hour later it became like cold windy overcast I thought it was gonna rain the sky started getting dark but now it's getting warm it's humid I had to take off my hoodie it is so humid like it feels like like in Dallas or Houston or somewhere and this is our typical weather you never know. It changes from hour to hour, day to day. Typical, typical weather here. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be sunny for the rest of the day or if it's going to start raining. I can't tell. Okay. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I wanted to add on to the $15 minimum wage situation with uh, Senator uh, Kirsten, Kirsten or Kirsten Cinema. On Friday, she voted against the $15 minimum wage, and I just made a video about it this morning. And um, there was a tweet that she made, uh, I think it was like a, a couple of years ago, whenever they were trying to raise it up before. Um, it was retweet, retweeted by Representative of Illinois Marie Newman. Oh, that was a loud muffler. Okay. This is what cinema had tweeted previously about the $15 minimum wage full-time minimum wage earner makes less than $16,000 a year this is a no-brainer tell Congress to wait raise the wage so uh, apparently she changed her mind this year and I don't know why you know what just seems ridiculous to me okay well, this is just a little update on the police dog from Salisbury, North Carolina that was being strangled by the handler. Apparently, the dog is doing fine. They have separated the dog from the handler, the police handler. And um, there's no identification on the police officer, his name. And I kind of think they may not release it unless they charge the officer with something. Um, hopefully he never gets the dog back. So we can just hope that, you know, make sure, hope that these, this police department does not write this off or trying to just make an excuse for his actions. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully this dog may be retired. I'm hoping uh, right now they have taken the dog off duty. It's supposed to be taken a vacation or days off or whatever because these dogs work really hard they're trained you know to do a very specific type of job and it's very stressful and they have a high uh, stress level they you know they they have to be in compliant with their their handler they have to you know obey commands and sometimes I know it can be stressful for the handler trying to keep a dog like that under control because the dog has to be on in a second you know they're they're sitting in the back of a police cruiser or whatever and then they're immediately you know told to you know jump go to work you know go chase after the suspect bite them on the arm because they train them to bite their arms and i think sometimes their legs sometimes they get trained to so they can take you know running uh suspects down and it's an intense job for these dogs and um their emotions can, you know, run high and just like a human, you know, they get put in that moment of adrenaline and then they're supposed to immediately come down from that. And, you know, their, their intelligence level isn't as high as ours. They have the intelligence level of like a, I think like a three-year-old child or something. Most dogs do. And trying to uh, communicate that to a dog to immediately go after something with that high energy, high energy and that adrenaline and then immediately to stop, you know, to let go and stop. So, you know, that can be probably a little bit confusing for some of these dogs, you know. They may think it as a game or as a trick or some way of pleasing their their master, but 
Uh, it still is a high energy, high adrenaline. Uh, I mean, for them to have to make that shift immediately from, you know, redlining it and then immediately stop. That, that you know, that can be very uh, emotionally draining to a dog, I'm sure. Just like it is to a person, you know, coming down from that kind of adrenaline, you know. Okay, um, hopefully that dog is okay. And hopefully that uh, police officer never gets the dog back. Hi y'all, I'm still on I work. It's about one o'clock. Um, I think a little after that. Um, I'm at my storage unit. If anybody knows the saga of my storage units, I was broken into repeatedly. I just came by to check since I have nothing else to do. I uh, went to Walmart and I bought this pork plant. It's called a maidenhair fern. It's got, I mean, it looks like it's a of a diet. It's horrible, but it's on sale for $2.21. And it's got these super thin, like, almost, well, paper thin, very thin uh, leaves. And it's a very delicate plant, and I really like these. I'm not good at growing house plants, but I'm good at, I'm good at vegetable gardens. But I was going to take that one and see if I could, maybe I can fix it. It was dried out. So I watered it a little bit. Maybe I can get it to grow. Well, um, I'm still suffering the YouTube black hole. Nothing's been done. I can only see 200 of my videos on my video page. I think I said it wrong in one of my other, when I was describing the issue, uh, I think a dollar, a, a dollar a day or so away. And, um, it was, uh, I think I just said it wrong, but I can only see 200 videos on my video page of my channel. But when I look at my library, I can see all my videos. But a weird thing happened this morning. I forgot about this. I was, when I was posting my first video today, um, there were several videos that when I was going through my, uh, uh, library, it was showing up that I had no views on several of my videos that I know I had views on it was I didn't check all of them but there was like probably five or six of them that I saw that had no views and my um my view count has gone down over the past few days or this past week I guess and then a few minutes later I checked it again and the views came back on on those um, but it said no views it's not that the like there'd be five or six videos where the views were showing up while I was scrolling through and then it'd be one video and it would say no views nothing else and then the next few would have all their views on it and then uh, I mean it's just so confusing whatever's going on something's going on with my channel and I don't know but um, hopefully I can get this dealt with Oops, my boss just popped up on my screen. Uh, let me see. I may have to go back to work. I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. Because I really don't like being short on my checks. I've been short on almost every paycheck since the beginning of this year. Because either bad weather, holidays, or I was sick. I had migraines. Just random stuff. Or we didn't have enough work. Or something was happening at work that where we didn't have... Uh, full hours for the week uh, so I'm gonna have to click off and see maybe I have to go to work now well I just bought my winner winner chicken dinner lotto ticket but I did win anything it was a dollar I don't hardly play the lottery I just play it like every few months I'll buy one I don't spend a lot on it I think the most I've ever won is like maybe five bucks or so I don't know but this had two prizes of $500, but I didn't have the right number. <laughs> Story of my life. Well, I don't have to go to work today. Um, I haven't figured out the gas leak. It's after 1 o'clock. And I'm going to get paid between 8 and 12, or half a day's work. I um, really like this job. And, uh, well, I guess I'm going to go home and see my dogs. And, uh, 
maybe I might make some more videos or something. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all.